Hey guys, and welcome to Lunchtime Live. <laughs> so, I have my list over here, so if you see me looking this direction, that's why. But I want to start with a show and tell. You guys know I love doing the show and tell, and as you guys know, I love to cor collect, not correct, collect other prophetic artists' um, work. And so that's my show and tell today. Hi, Annette. And so I'm gonna kick this off by sharing a piece that was made by my friend Christina from Wings of Mercy Arising. She's actually another um, silk artist as well, but she also does prophetic artwork, kind of like me, <laughs> except hers are different, but they're gorgeous. I love them. And look at this. I, you can't, let me just say this. This says freedom reigns in this place is the text that's on here, but isn't this fun? It looks like it's, it's, uh, one of the fluid art pieces, but look, you can also see there's like sparklies on it. So it's just this little canvas, but anyway, so yeah, so Christina made this. I love this. This is part of my collection and she has more in her Etsy store for people who are interested. And I just love it because she has, you know, her, her, uh, fluid art pieces. And then she has the text that she adds on them. That's always an encouragement. And so it's kind of fun. I just like that. I like what she's doing there. So anyway, ba -ba -ba. I'm playing the part of Vanna here. So go check out our Etsy store. All right, so that's my show and tell. Moving on to testimony time. I'm trying to make sure that I uh, keep track of where I'm at. I have a list of stuff I wanna cover. Hi, Nadia. So um, the testimony I wanna share today is actually on our Died For You blog. It's called New Levels of Refinement and Confirmation. And so, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the post on our blog. And it actually, um, this is a Talit story. Hi, Elisa. It's a Talit story. And, and um, what's kind of fun about this is, you know, how died for you has kind of spread is that someone will catch the vision, they get passionate about it, and then they want to share that vision with other people. And so they'll do that by gifting things to their family and friends. And then those people will catch the vision and they share it with their family and friends. And so that's kind of how it works. And so this is a perfect example of someone who is extremely passionate about what we do here and, um, and has been blessing other people. So she had gotten a tallit for herself, which I'm actually gonna show you a picture. She'd gotten a tallit for herself this past summer. And so this was the tallit she got for herself this past summer. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, there you go. And so this um, this particular Talit is uh, called um, Warrior Princess. I think that's the one that it is. I'm totally blanking. I can't believe that just happened. That's funny. And the reason that I'm particularly passionate about this piece, Amy, you see what I'm talking about, girl? All right, so, and the reason I'm passionate about this piece is because I have its twin. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, sometimes when we make a piece, um, God will have us do multiples of the same one. And, and, and I've talked about this, I think I even talked about this last week, where, you know, what we've learned is that you can send the exact same word to two different people, but they're filtering it through their experience and their interactions with God. And so different things are highlighted to them in it. And so when I made this, I made actually three of them. And so the third one went to our friend Katrina and she, she got, uh Oh, it's for a second there. It said, I lost internet connection. I'm like, no, Anyway, and so Katrina got a beaded veil version of it. And so it was the same size as our Talit's, but it had uh, the beads all along one edge. And what was fun is that we all had awesome testimonies from it. And so Katrina had shared that hers carries a strong anointing. Here's another picture of it. You guys, for those of you who uh, get most of, see most of our posts, you know, we've started doing these sort of testimony pictures because... Um, we used to do these lengthy blogs, which we obviously do because I'm talking about one right now. And the problem is, is that not a lot of people go and visit the blog anymore because people just are quickly looking through the stuff that's in their newsfeed. So we've tried to make it where you get like the bite-sized versions of the testimonies as well. And so, yeah, so that's what we've been doing with this. And so that was Katrina's and I have one 
I actually have two that I made from feedback that Amy gave on one she said I love everything about this silk the fact that it speaks volumes to what the Lord has spoken to me lets me know that this is truly prophetic work of art and the ministry behind it is true we love that kind of feedback thank you Amy and then um, on her five-star review that she put on Etsy, which again, I made another little picture thingy out of that. She said, I love everything about this tallit, down to the finest detail. At the beginning of the year, the Lord had spoken to me in a dream about the type of anointing he placed on my life. This prophetic silk lined up directly with everything the Lord spoke to me, from the scripture to the colors and the name of the silk, Warrior Princess. I dance with it, I pray with it, I war with it, I praise and worship with it. Isn't that awesome? And this isn't even the testimony that I'm sharing today. This is the history. <laughs> so all that to say, <laughs> so we we made I, I made three of these, two tallits and one beaded veil, and all of us got blessed by it. Mine is the one that I carry around in my purse, and so I use it at church all the time. That's why you keep seeing pictures of me with it, because I'll shoot a selfie while I'm in church under my tallit. And um, and so hold on, let me go back to the other one. So so she amy had used this to lead so much that she felt like she needed to get another one and so we made another one for her and let's see if i have a picture of it somewhere hmm all right hopefully you can see it from here and it was called my path and so this was the new one that he had me make her and it's a it's a beauty too it is a beauty too and so the feedback that she gave was, and this is just, again, just a quote of it. Um, she said, walking in new levels of refinement hasn't always been easy, but this is also confirmation of the word that I put out called heeding the call to simplicity about refine, the refining of the smaller details of my life and walking according to heaven's time schedule. Words cannot express how truly thankful I am because the Lord is an artist and he always confirms his word. And so I love this because literally she had released, hi Nina, he, she had released a word and the word that came with the silk was a confirmation of the word that he'd given her. I just love how he does that. Like the confirmation feedback is always such a blessing to us because, um, you know, it, it's a gentle process receiving from the Lord. And so getting that feedback that, hey, he said this to me too, you know, either we're all crazy <laughs> or we're, we're all hearing the same God. And so I love that uh, confirmation and feedback. So anyway, but she's in this, in this uh, testimony, she's talking about refinement. And that's part of the reason why I picked this particular testimony for today. And I strongly encourage you to go and look it up on the Died For You blog, literally diedforyou.com and go visit the blog. It's like the fourth one down right now. And, um, and in it, we actually share the word that she had gotten from the Lord, um, that, that the one that we gave her confirmed. So you get to read the word that he'd given her plus the rest of her testimony. So I strongly encourage you to go take a look at that. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, cause today we are going to be talking about, um, the contrast of life. And so this is like, there's ups and downs and God is in all of it. Okay. And so, uh, let's see, where do I want to start? Let's start with the nugget. Let's start with the prophetic nugget. So the nugget is called Face the Flames. And this is out of Hosea 6.1. And this is the voice translation. Um, Come on, let's renew our loyalty to the eternal one. He tore us like a lion, but he'll heal us. He wounded us, but he'll bandage us. And this is the download that he gave me. Beloved, my love for you never changes no matter what you do or say. I am never cruel or unfeeling towards you. I will, however, allow hardships into your life to shape and mold you and to build your character. I do not do this to be unkind, though in the moment it may feel that way. The contrast of bad gives good a greater fullness, just as the contrast of sorrow brings joy more depth. If a child is given everything they want and they experience no hardship, they will be spoiled and self-focused. I will not do that to my children, for I love them, for my love for them is too great. Therefore, I allow hardships and trials, but I walk through them with you. I am present, ready to give support and strength as you reach for me. Then as you come out the other side, I bring healing and restoration. And just as a scar strengthens the area where a wound has been, I will strengthen you in the areas you've been tried. 
So face the flames of testing unafraid, knowing I am with you, will walk you through, knowing you will be stronger for doing so, and knowing challenges are simply a part of life. And beloved, life is worth embracing in all its fullness. And so part of the key message here is not being afraid of the bad times either, okay? So like facing it all. And by the way, this silk that's sitting next to me, uh, which is one of our streamer flags, obviously, is actually called Face the Flames. So the, the nugget that I just shared is part of the word that goes with this particular silk. And let's see if I can remember all the silks that are in this. For those of you who uh, aren't familiar with this, we, we have what we call multi-silks, and that's where we put uh, silks together. And what ends up happening is it's not just addition, it's not just you know, this has four different silks included in it, and it's not just the four words. There's also what do the four words together mean, okay? And so Face the Flames is the overarching name of these four silks being used together. But the four silks that are in it are, this is Freedom Reigns, this one is Fire of God, this one is Jealous God, Elkanah, and this one is He Moves in Love. And so these are the ones that are in here. And by the way, just off topic real quick, I'm not sure everybody realizes this, but there is actually a front side and a back side to streamer flags. This took somebody off guard this week, and so I just wanted to make sure that people know this. Because of the fact that these four pieces get sewn together after they're dyed, you have the four pieces, but we actually serge them together. So you can see the stitching that puts them together. We use kind of a gray because it kind of blends with everything and sort of disappears. So anyway, they're stitching. So this is the back side of the flag, which if it's not moving, you can see it, but I mean, you can tell it's not very visible even like this, but when it's in motion, you really don't see it. But I just didn't want somebody else to be caught off guard with that <laughs> because the uh, silks that are all one piece obviously don't have seams in the middle of them and so I just want to make sure that people are surprised by that so anyway okay coming back to this so the good and the bad thank you Nita. it is gorgeous isn't it this is actually this is one of mine <laughs> I made this uh this past December right before I went out of town and the night before I went out of town um I really felt like God was saying that he wanted me to have a new piece that came with me and so I brought it not even knowing what the name was or what the word that went with it was. I mean, I knew obviously what the four silks were, but I didn't know what their combined meaning was. Hang on a second, I see some more comments here. That's beautiful. Uh, yes, I definitely sell my flags. Shanta, if I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. But if you visit um, on our Facebook page, there should be a shop now, or you can just go to Died For You Ready Made. Is, is the name of the shop, and it's D-Y-E-D, -E the number four, Y-O-U, and then Ready Made, all one word, died for you, readymade.com will take you there. Yes, exactly, Elise, I did it right before I left, and I chewed on this word for probably like six weeks after that. It took a while before I got the full download on it, um, and so, Okay, so this is about the contrast of life, right? The good, the good and the bad. And so the art piece that he wanted me to share this week is called Dance with Fire. And, oops, helps if I hold it the right direction. Um, and this is the art piece. Ooh, my hair's getting stuck. <laughs> this is the art piece. And Already Paid is actually the name of the silks that are in the art piece. So I don't know if you can see that. So anyway, and so this particular art piece is also about, again, it's about um, basically facing the good and the bad uh, with equal amounts of vigor. <laughs> like not shying away from the trials, right? He's going to give you grace to walk through the trials. And so um, there's a couple of my blog posts on my personal blog that, that this topic brought to mind for me. And the first one is a blog post called Tarnish. And basically in it, I share a little bit about, um, there was a silver tray that I have here that my mom had given me. Love you, mommy. Um, and, uh, and I love it, it's gorgeous, but of course the problem with silver when you have it out is it tarnishes. And so <laughs> I was sitting there polishing it back up <laughs> because I'm notorious for letting all my silver get tarnished and, and then eventually going back and attempting to make it pretty again. And <laughs> anyway, and so I was sitting there and I was, you know, polishing it up and I was kind of frustrated and I was like, what the heck? And I was like, God, why do you do this? And all of a sudden he started giving 
giving me a parallel and he was showing me that um, thank you. By the way, if you haven't noticed, Elisa is very diligently including links in the comments for you on the stuff that I'm talking about. But, um, you know, we talk a lot about silver being refined in the fire, but even once the silver piece is completed, it requires the regular maintenance to keep it from being tarnished. And I thought this was such a great parallel for us. Like when we first become believers, like he may take us through like a heavy season of trials to just, you know, put, burn away that dross, you know, some of the big stuff in our lives. But that doesn't mean that there's not ongoing maintenance that happens throughout our life where he deals with stuff. And so there, there is that, um, that thought of just continuing on on that path, like the continuing refinement, which again ties us back to the testimony I was just sharing about refinement because he is constantly refining us and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And so we want to embrace that. We want to dance with the fire, dance with the flames, <laughs> face the flames, dance with the fire. Okay. <laughs> I got to make sure I'm pointing to the right places when I'm saying these. And the other um, blog post that he brought to mind, which actually came to mind in a conversation that I was having this morning with someone else. Love you, Sarah. Um, and you've, you guys who watch me a lot have heard me talk about this before. And this is the concept of not speaking the name of other gods. And I'll actually read the scripture for you that this is from, lest you think I'm crazy. Um, okay, hold on. Let me get to the right tab here. So this is in Exodus 23 verse 13 and it says, where is it? Come on. Exodus 23 13 and it says, make no mention of the name of other gods. And I thought, that's kind of crazy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> and what God has showed me as I've pressed in on that is that essentially our focus needs to be on the true God, right? And so if we are constantly saying, well, the enemy did this in my life and the enemy did that in my life, who are we giving praise to, right? Praise is coming out of our mouth for the enemy. If he is attempting to cause chaos and, and destruction and steal and all of that, and if we, are, if we are acknowledging that and we're saying the enemy caused this chaos and the enemy did this and the enemy did that, we are essentially praising him because we are saying you did a good job at what you were trying to do. I don't want to do that. I don't want to praise the enemy. So instead, if we believe that God is sovereign, okay, then... He has allowed these things to happen. And the question becomes, why did God allow these things to happen? So rather than giving credit to the enemy, instead seek the father and ask him, what is the purpose of this trial in my life? So when the trials come, don't praise the enemy. Look to the father and ask him, what are you doing here? Right? So that you can embrace that trial and move through it smoothly. And so it becomes, then you are praising him and you are giving him credit and you are acknowledging his sovereignty. Okay. And so in doing that, you continually are praising him. Okay. And again, so we come back to the, the nugget today, which was talking about the contrast of good and bad, good and bad. And, and truly you, you lose the appreciation for the good and the beautiful and the joyful things. If you don't have the contrast of the other things that are not as good and not as beautiful. Right. And so you need both in your life. And so rejoice in that contrast. That doesn't mean like your favorite times are going to be the hard times, obviously. Although I will tell you that I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm going through a really rough time, I tend to seek the father even more because when I get desperate, I'm like, daddy, where are you? Right. You know, and, 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 and those become like these sweet times of intimacy with him. And so if, if we are having those moments, then you can start to have a deeper appreciation for the way that he will meet you in those hardships, which is, which is how you can truly count it all joy when you have trials, because you're able to count it all joy because there becomes this thing of, of love that you have with the father in those deep, in those, in those moments where you're crying out. Okay. And so anyway, not that I'm passionate about this topic, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hold on a second. I'm checking my list because I think I want to make sure I hit all the stuff that I wanted to. I did. I did. Okay. That's awesome. So, um, switching gears, we'll go into prayer time. I'm actually going to scroll back up and make sure I'm not missing a bunch of comments because I saw some go by. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Sarah, when I, when I shared that with you, I thought, huh, how interesting. This perfectly dovetails with what I was going to talk about today. I have a feeling that Papa planned that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Annette. Thank you. I didn't entirely know where he was going to go today. He actually started downloading um, what he wanted to talk about this week, like a week and a half ago, which he never does it that far in advance. Um, but uh, I didn't get the full download until this morning. Let's see. Wow. Oh, that's awesome, Elisa. Great confirmation. That's right. We've done another silk called Fiery Anointed One, and that's the one that Elisa was worshiping with last night. That's so fun. Did you hear Mr. Cardinal just hit the window? I looked over a moment. He's literally sitting in the corner on, down by the window, like staring at his reflection. He's convinced we are hiding another male cardinal in here, and he needs to beat him up. There he goes again. There he goes again. <laughs> This bird has been at this for literally years. It's hysterical. I don't understand him. That cracks me up. All right. I think that's all of the comments. If I missed if I missed a comment, I apologize. <gasps> Yay, Amy, I'm so glad to hear that. I if you can manage to get him to pose for a picture with it, that would be awesome. But if he's not up for it, that's okay too. But uh yeah, I love hearing that. I had um Amy's talking about, so she's the one whose testimony we shared today, and she had gotten, you know, some Talitza's gifts for a family, friend, and then finally for her husband. And when she ordered it for her husband, of course, it's listed as a lady's Talit. And so I contacted her and I said, um, instead of doing like the long, pretty beads, what if I do like a bead with the tassel, kind of like what I did for Margie? You guys remember that I... Uh, shared that testimony. Was that last week? I think that was last week. It's all running together. Anyway, and so um, apparently he he got it and loved it. So that makes me happy. I'm about to uh, make another one of those. Um, okay, prayer time. So if you guys have prayer requests, go ahead and post those. And I'm going to start praying here in just a second. Yeah, I was, I, oh, that's awesome. That's right. Yeah, we're going to share Nita's testimony uh, maybe next week. <laughs> she got one of the Talits. So, all right, hold on. Coffee break. Forgive me. I've been running my mouth too much. I need liquid. <sighs> Sorry. You know what? Can I just tell you? I'm going to sniff my flute here. You guys know that I've been... Uh, obsessed with the with the flutes and this one is actually raw i had him make it raw for me because i'm actually planning to dye it <laughs> so this is the before and uh and i'm hoping to dye it and it is a gorgeous one this is a curly maple and the uh the darker wood is um it's a brazilian wood i think it's lip maybe so this one's an e i'm gonna let you guys hear it because we'll just have a random flute moment Mr. Cardinal. Anyway. I love this. And he uh, burns the holes here to keep them uh, extra hard. And so it smells like campfire. <laughs> I'm having Sukkot flashbacks. So I just want to sit here and sniff my flute. I have to tell you that I I love I love the look of the, the naked flute so much. I'm having trouble talking myself into dyeing it. But um, the plan for this one is to do uh, enthroned one, which is um, kind of one of our rainbow uh, patterns and so that's what I was picturing is doing doing that but I, I, <laughs> I love it so much I actually had planned to have like the rainbow extend from here down to here but I'm actually thinking about just having it like just like a little bit of it dyed and then leaving the rest of it the natural wood because the natural wood is just so pretty so I don't want to do it but uh, anyway I'm having fun playing with that I'm going to share more about dyeing flutes in the future so stay tuned but uh Anyway, okay, prayer time. <laughs> I'll just randomly have a little musical interlude. I 
I know it is hard to beat the natural wood. <laughs> So pretty. Thank you. I, I'm enjoying it. This is actually one that I had gotten and, um, and I, I wasn't particularly thrilled with the color of the wood and so I stripped it and dyed it. And so it, it mostly what you see is the dark red and the uh, bronze shimmer that I have on it. Can you see the shimmer? It's kind of shimmery. But it also has uh, some gold in it and some other colors. But yeah, so this was this was one of my first experiments. This is actually leopard wood. Can you see? Look at that. Isn't that fun? So the texture of the wood is really pretty. But uh, anyway, you can see the shimmer. Dee, 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 dee. So yeah, so this was, this was fun, but this is, uh, that was one of my first ones. I've done three so far. And so stay tuned for more, but there's, there's been, I've ex been experimenting. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna scoosh this over because this flag's a little bit bigger than the one that I used last week, and I don't want to accidentally take out, take out, the, uh, take out the camera here. So let's do this. There we go, I think that's gonna work. So go ahead and put in your prayer requests if you want, otherwise I'm just gonna um, spend some time in prayer. And so Father, first of all, we just thank you. We thank you for the fact that in the good and in the bad, you are, in, you are present. You are present. Yahweh Shamag, the Lord who is present. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You are so good to us that you walk through everything with us, Father. Thank you that you never leave us or forsake us, Father. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. Father, I just pray right now for anyone who is going through a trial right now, may they actually consider it all joy. Not like having to fake it, just like literally... They feel your presence so strongly in the midst of it, so strongly in the midst of it that they actually can consider it joy, even in the midst of the trial, Father. And, and, they, and they wait with anticipation, joyful anticipation, to see how you're going to resolve it because you, are, you work on behalf of your children. And so, Father, you are always at work in our lives. And so thank you for that, Father, right now. Hallelujah. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. Father, I just feel like you're putting on my heart that we should just be praying briefly over all of the silks that have been released in the last couple of weeks, Father. Actually, let's just pray over all of them. Father, we just pray blessings upon the recipients of those who have gotten the silks and the art that come from this ministry, Father. We just thank you for them, Father. We pray a special blessing and anointing over their lives, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we just do ask that, um, that the words that come forth from this ministry would, in fact, foster a deeper relationship with you, just as our desire and our mission is. Hallelujah. To you be all the glory, Father. To you be all the glory. And, Father, we've made a lot of talits recently. <laughs> and so I just pray that there would just be um, increased uh, prayer. I was about to say spiritual warfare, but we don't really want the warfare coming back at us necessarily just like increased persistence in prayer father hallelujah you're so good you're so good hallelujah father hallelujah father you're so good i always pray for for health and so father we just ask right now for healing for those who need it father we just speak health over all of the people within the died for you community her who are connected to the Died For You community. Health and healing, hallelujah, Father. We just thank you that you are the Lord, our healer, Yahweh Rapha, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are so good, Daddy. You are so good and so faithful. Thank you, Father. Father, I just pray for provision for those who have need, Father. We just thank you that you are a creative God and you are a creative problem solver. So sometimes you solve provisional issues by supplying money, and sometimes you provide favor or gifts. Father, you think outside the box, and so, Father, we just thank you for your plans. But we know you take care of your children. Hallelujah. Father, I just ask for the burden. Um, I just feel like people are carrying a burden of, of feeling the need to provide, and that I, I pray that it would not be a burden, Father, but that they would... Um, function from a place of, of sowing and reaping and they're sowing their time and, and, and they are reaping and that's appropriate, Father. And we just thank you, Father, and just ask that it would not be burdensome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let them find joy 
and, and purpose in that which you have called them to do. Hallelujah. You're so good, Daddy. You're so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah, thank you, Father. Father, we just thank you for Sarah. Father, we just thank you for her heart for you. Father, we just ask right now for just um, an increased anointing as she begins this group, this prayer group that you've put on her heart. Father, I just ask that you would just stir up the hearts of those who are involved in it. Father, we just thank you for peace and harmony um, and for your spirit to be just thick, just present and thick. Father, we just thank you, and, and may you be exalted in all of it. Father, give Sarah grace and wisdom to know how to lead it and how to facilitate it as you want it facilitated. Father, help her to hold it loosely and allow you to move. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You're so good. You're so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And actually, Father, for anyone else in the Died For You community who is leading a small group, Father, we also just pray wisdom and grace for them as they facilitate, Father. We pray that, that people would come to know you more as a result of being in these groups. Thank you, Father. Just harmony, peace. Father, you say that we'll be known by our love. Let us function in love as we are together. Thank you, Father. You're so good. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I definitely think that using a streamer flag while sitting is a little bit more challenging than using the small flag was last week. Note to self, <laughs> you hit yourself in the head with these, but that's okay. You guys didn't mind seeing me smack myself in the face with it, did you? <laughs> anyway, well, I think that's all I have for today. So I hope you guys have an awesome day rest of your day and rest of your week and i look forward to seeing you guys next week on thursday at 1 p.m central time lunchtime live and in the meantime happy worshiping love you guys have a great day oh thank you that's awesome yes definitely replay it because i played a flute <laughs> And just so you know, the flute that I played today is by the same flute maker that you and I were talking about yesterday, by the way. So it's the same guy. Just letting you know. All right. Love you guys. Have a great week. See you next week. God bless.